for more avant-garde artists, flowers and gardens were a source of emotional inspiration. They're not so much interested in whether it's a hyacinth, but for many of these artists, um, like Matisse or Emil Nolde, it's really the color. Emil Nolde created gardens wherever he lived, and they were a great inspiration to him. I think the act of gardening also was very spiritual and important to him. Uh, his last garden was created in Siebel, which is on the border of Denmark uh, and Germany, and he um, designed his garden so that the past created uh, two entwined letters that are the initials of himself and his wife. So you know how personal this garden was to him, and it was the great source of inspiration for his art for you know the last 20 years of his life or so, and it still exists today. I was really intrigued by Emil Nolder's garden at Siebel because he built this jewel-like place, this fantasy realm. He didn't really create the garden um, as a place to be experienced as a series of pictures, as uh, a tableau. He created the garden as um, an intense space in which you were immersed, and that's the feeling you have when you go into the garden today. There are a series of winding paths around beds which are absolutely chock filled with all kinds of bright and colourful flowers which have not been, and we can see this in the paintings, which were not chosen for their uh, compatibility with each other necessarily, but chosen for the incredible uh, colours they exhibit and which Nolde was then able to uh, experiment with in paint. Emil Nolde is an artist who's very invested in the project of modernity, and he wants to paint in a certain way that's very basic. It's primal. He wants to get at the most basic level of intense human emotion. And he uses a technique that's meant to convey that. And for example, if you look at his paintings from the 20s, he paints on very rough burlap. I mean, it's really rugged. And he paints with incredibly heavy brush strokes. I mean, just caked on paint. And if you'll notice, it's very matte. And that's partly because when you're painting with oil, the oil soaks into that. And he leaves these very heavily encrusted surfaces. It's very rough and rugged. Uh, and it's very shocking to, to many people to see a painting in that condition, but that's what he wanted. He wanted something that wasn't refined. And, I mean, he was the enemy of the refined, and he wanted that sense of rawness and intense emotion in his paintings. <laughs>